Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gano Who here, calling to you for the year 2018 to you 2019 people. <laughs> Forgot to do that jokes, but yeah. Welcome to more Traveling Time, and in this episode we stole a time driving washing machine, and we bounced one all over the place, and yeah. In this episode, we shall be doing some more mini games, specifically three, at least three more mini games in the Shootuarium, the Flyerarium, and the Wannerarium. So yeah, here's this big tree more here for me. Here you have numbers on here which represent the number of mini games we're doing. And once a, I don't know, a, 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 a category of mini games is done, one of those acorns will fly out and that's where we want to go to the Dormer again to get something special, but for now, let's go to pseudo area first. Well, you guessed it, we'll be doing some more shooting. So, shooting minigames has always been a staple since the first Wabbit's game. It always has been. Well, in the, well, in the last Wabbit's game, we have to go home. Oh, wait, didn't we have a huge part in the game? We Shoot kind of aware of here and there, but not a lot by much. Here, the shoot minions are now back in full force, and it feels good. And also, you can f just throw your weapon everywhere in the place. Whee! It's forbidden to sh shout to play this game. Well, screw you, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, here's our first shooting mini game the Great Uarian Wash. Instead of gold, it's Uarium because why not? Fire at will! <laughs> purple, of course, because purple is awesome. And purple is actually the correct choice. Because believe it or not, there are some choice Shatternick in this game, be it choose orange team or purple team or some other choices we'll get into later. But yeah, because you don't make the right choice, the game will not count you as actually being the game, which... Honestly, I think it's a stupid design choice for you to play a minigame a second time, but whatever. And look, it's got two rocks. One near gold and one near uranium, so... Here, the objective is simple. You got three rounds to go through and simply... And simply here, you gotta shoot down more rocks than your opponent. Right now, I'm doing terrible because... It has been while since I've played through, play shooting me again, so I am kind of rusty. But don't worry, I will make a comic here. Actually, I'm not rusty. I, f I forgot I was the blue one, so yeah, ignore me. Now on to round two, where more things will get introduced. Shoot more of these things down. Yes, yeah, so nothing out of the ordinary here, really. And the TNT boxes. Yeah. You try to shoot your TNT boxes to your opponent, they'll lose some points, or vice versa, as the hits towards you, so... Basically, make sure the TNT boxes don't... ...come anywhere near you. Basically, get those TNT boxes away... ...as far away from you as possible. Just like that, so you, you don't lose points and they lose points, so yeah. Be wary of that. Saying that thing goes with rubber duckies, do not let those rubber duckies get anywhere near you. Especially those rubber duckies. Because they hit you, you lose twice the amount of points as we would with the TNT, so be very careful with that. And you know that actually reminds me. You know, uh, I was talking I like to do. do portable versions of the Rabbit's games. Well, ten. No. This is. The last first game to get a portable version of the game. Game. Cause yeah. 
Where is Troventine is the last where is going to get a portable version of this of it. That being where is 3D for the 3DS. It's basically a simple bland 2D platform that really isn't really worth your time but I have played through the game and be in it and I thought it was okay. But honestly I think I have much more fun with that the bad game than this one of sure. But you know, after this game, there have been no other portable versions of Future Wars games. I mean, alive and kicking, there was no Xbox portable. Whereas Land, there was no Whereas Land port for the 3DS. Singles, well, Whereas Invasion wasn't on the Wii U, so. And Mario Plus Whereas, well, the Switch is a hybrid, so. You know, we need. Anyways, I want your attention there. So there you go. We change history. So now instead of gold being one of the most valuable things, it's now uranium. And therefore we cause mass radiation to the entire world. Where'd they go, rabbits? I see here, even in these wounds, we got some sort of these side things that you can do. That kind of begins in its own way. So here we have weather tossing. They're, they're kind of like the jump rope and volleyball challenges in Super Mario Odyssey. In which I mean, they're fun to do, but in order to get a higher score, then it's really frust enormously frustrating to do. <laughs> like, I think there's a, their achievements to get really high scores on a specific type of mini games. And yeah, doing that is really tedious and time consuming. I hate this type of challenges, I really do. Good for you know I'm saying this game. <laughs> uh. Honestly. <laughs> I s oh, I just changed one thing. <laughs> My. So yeah, I honestly not like a horse. You horse see playthrough. Well. You know, if I ever do Super Mario Odyssey, maybe because of that damn jump wall challenge. I only managed to beat the jump wall challenge with a glitch. And since that glitch has been patched out, I've no idea how to get the moon now. But anyways, we're now off to the fly area, which is... Something that's so brand new for the Rare series. I think, anyway. Well, actually, no, no it isn't, but... It then goes control different. With the first three various games, you normally really control your flying rabbit, rabbit or wayman with just the Wii Renault, and that was quite easy to control. But here this time, we have actual wings, and both wings are configured to both the Wii Renault and the Nunchuck. Respectively, and this merely at first is extremely awkward to control. I hated this the first time I played it. It was really awkward to control, and in now it still is. And I just, I we, really, I we really don't like this. What was one just using a Wii Note control? Why do I have to use two of them? It makes me feel disoriented, and I really don't like it. And eventually, I did got used to it, but. <laughs> Still don't like it. I hate, hate this new control scheme. I prefer how they did it back in the first Wii Rebels games. I don't know if Rebels Go Home has something set. No, I don't think they did. I don't remember flying in that Rebels Go Home. I never those. Excuse me. I know two sections, but not flying ones. Anyways, yeah. Now we're flying through space, and there's plenty of tokens to get. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get every token in the game. Because that will require me getting all the achievements. Because for which achievement you get, you will get 1 to 5 tokens for that gain that achievement, depending on how difficult it is. But, you know, some achievements being impossible to get. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. A win challenge. Oh, 
God, I'm getting SpongeBob new PTSD now. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, other games that let's play on this channel, I have quite a strong hatred for wings. And I hadn't even played Superman 64. <laughs> Christ. Thankfully, it's only a side thing, it's not something I'm forced to do. So, good on you, traveling time. Or should I say, fees in time? <laughs> uh, anyways. Apparently, this is the second minigame to fly in. Well, I'm starting to see one instead of first. I don't know, but. Now we're off to visit Benjamin Franklin at Dim Flash of Inspiration. Which all we gotta do is just collect balloons. Okay. Huh. <sighs> so, yeah. So this way is going electricity by flying a kite in a storm. But I don't know why. And here's for all you people with an inflation fetish out there. <laughs> uh. Oh my. Ooh. Okay, no, I'm not gonna go in that direction. God, I know the rats are weird, but I didn't know they were that weird. Anyway, no offense to anyone who has an inflation fetish, just make sure we. You know, don't take it to the extreme. Uh, anyways, I'm not going to touch that search right here, so... Basically, in this video, you just got to collect as many balloons as possible. Basically, be the one of most balloons out of all the four. Simple to do, now. Now, the one thing you got to be really careful of... Is that other people can steal your balloons, so... Not only you have gotta get as many balloons as you possibly can, but you wanna get as many powers as you can by getting all the stress cause as you see on um top top screen. Yeah, their CPU those asshole CPUs are stealing my balloons. But thankfully on the opposite side, you can also steal their balloons, so Yeah, there we go. So yeah, gotta be very careful. So you can be, so it could be like, could be like you could be in first place winning at the start of the game, and then at the end of the game, everyone else steals your balloons and you're back in last place. That happened me quite a few times, and I absolutely hate Ada doing that. It's like I know I keep saying this a lot, but it's pretty much like Splatoon, except instead of spraying ink everywhere, you're taking balloons and stealing balloons, like spraying. Ink everywhere and the coming enemy ink. <laughs> uh. You're a square now, you're a web now. <laughs> Fun fact When sp first platoon game was originally being delayed, though, squids were used to be rabbits for. for they side chain squids because, you know, that actually make a lot of sense. This is surprising considering that, you know, Nintendo is covered in with. A jumping Italian plumber who eats mushrooms and safe <laughs> still. Okay, just gotta keep first place for a bit longer. No, 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 green, stop it. Green, yellow. No, or you, you know what? <sighs> okay, well, it doesn't matter. I won anyway, which is good. Oh my. Bye bye, Benjamin Franklin. I'll see you in Tony Hawk Underground 2. <laughs> uh, only a few of you get that reference. Anyways, so that's the flyer you mean getting done. Honestly, not very beginner friendly, let's say that for sure. I don't like these controls! <sighs> Oh god, there's a there's also a flag cow there too. 
No, I'm not going there again. No. <laughs> Anyways, back to the main hall. As we only got like one more place to go, and that's. I believe that's the one aquarium. <sighs> Chicken! Which came first, chicken or the egg? So, yeah, so I see, just know this now became the six corn rabbit tokens. And that means the game has been properly beaten. So, that's how you know it's been properly beaten. So, yeah. So, now we're off to the one aquarium. Or the wood aquarium. Chicken again. And here's where the game starts putting to toy mores again. Cause here's an old world with us now and he's tied next to us. A bit like Knuckles Chaotix. Now, this is actually another cipher you could do, but you can only do it with another player, so... I might show that off or not, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but... Don't be surprised if I don't have to show that off. Here you can also pick up boxes for some reason. Just tell you you can pick up boxes. And yes, you you can pick each other up to take up the higher platforms because for some reason the weather still can't jump. You know, they clearly could in the bouncer area, but whatever. Different gameplay styles or highs. Apparently has... Sonic Syndrome, where I can't sign which Game Boy style wants to be. Yeah. Anyways. Get the second key here. That's the tutorial bit over, as now we no longer have to wear it with us. So, yeah. Sucks that there's locked content away, unless I buy another Wii Remote, which I'm not gonna do. Oh, yeah. Oh look, we got... Let's pick up these, more of these tokens. Unfortunately, all the other minigames have been locked. And... Yeah. Okay, I know I'm kind of annoying, but... Hey, Steven Universe fans, have you ever wondered who really shattered Pink Diamond? Well, it was actually the Rabbits! <laughs> you know, there's a Pink Diamond in the middle. It was the Rabbits who shattered Pink Diamond. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's do our first one away minigame. Murder on the Embroider. Be the first to carry a sword or the brush to the finish line. Now, it would look like it doesn't matter which one you pick, but actually, do you wanna put a game to work now as you beat the game? You had to pick the boss, cause if you pick the sword instead, the game won't recognize you as being the game, which it sucks and stupid, but that's something you can really do. Okay, I know this ass asshole wizard stolen both the sword and the brush. So yeah, so you had to pick the brush, because you picked the sword, the game just says you can't be in this game, which is stupid, you don't explain it at all, and I, I just don't really get it. Why? Can't say I beat the game either way. That's so stupid, but yeah. These one or eight minigames actually kind of vary from minigame to minigame. As I hear, it's it's a waste to the finish line, really. So yeah, so basically, get to the be first, get to the end. It's as simple as that. Shield, this this sure isn't being my cart anytime soon. Jesus, 
Come on. Ugh, they got the boss. Yeah, I got the sword, mainly because they got the boss first, so I can't truly beat the game now. Mini game, I mean. <sighs> Bring it in, how is I supposed to know? Well, let's just beat the mini game. I'll go back and beat this game later with the blush this time, not the sword. Because, you know, you're rabbits. You, you want to screw up history. That's why you do. Screw up everything. Ugh. Anyways, uh, quite far behind now, and we're near the end, so. Ugh. Let's draw this thing off first. Unfortunately, that's gonna mean that they catch. No, they haven't caught up. Let's go over here. This place looks beautiful. Okay, now we're at the end. Just gotta go through a few more of these stuff. Nigga, we won the race. So yeah, we got the sword back. Doug, see by that, it doesn't actually show a golden rabbit token. It only shows the number, which means... Yes, you won the race, but you haven't really been in the minigame because you got the sword instead of brush. Which it doesn't tell you, which so... Yeah. Stupid. But there you go. After all that, I think the the toy part of this game should be over now. Ugh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> uh. Congratulations, you unlocked all areas of the game finally, and you now have access to the booth and the teleporter. To just teleport, hold up on the control pad. So yeah, now we can pretty much have access to everywhere in the game now finally. We now have access to the booth, which is online only, so we it's useless now. Including this thing. So yeah. So let's see what we got here. Fail to connect to the game service. Oh, we can still do a terminal, though, so that's good. Mirror mode. Fail to connect to the game service. So, yeah, since this is the Wi Fi is down, this is now completely useless, so that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what this is, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Me, groups, and community. All say fail to connect to the game service. So, yeah. Can't so I guess the information booth and the other one is completely useless now. So yeah, now they're all available to us except for the hookerarian. If you want to go through there, you need a motion plus accessory. And since I don't have connect to me right now, that's why it's locked. But anyways, next time on Let's Play Show in Time, we should now go ahead and probably do all the mini games. Here in this game, so we're gonna who? And I'll see you next time. See you later, people.